Okay, class, today uh, we're going to learn multiplication. Can someone tell me what multiplication is? Um, Same. Three, repeated addition. What is a repeated addition? Adding numbers over and over again. Okay. Can you give me an example of that? Like, 3 times 4 would be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Good job. Good job. So, um, today we're going to learn how to multiply single digit numbers. We're going to be able to group objects. And we're going to understand the connection between repeated addition and multiplication. <coughs> now, um, you all have Popsicle sticks on your desk. I love what Ollie did with that design. Um, so y'all are 12 popsicle sticks. Now I want you guys to group the popsicle sticks into equal groups. I'll give you, I'll give you some time to do that. Good job, guys. Um, so, what I had in mind was four groups of three, or three groups of four possible sticks. I'm going to write three times four. Now, can someone can someone do that with their possible sticks? Good job, guys. Killing it. Now, I'm going to draw this on the board so you guys can see what it looks like. One grouped. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, I have four groups, three groups of four possible sticks. One group, two group, three group. And this equals four plus four plus four which is the same as three times, three times four. Good job, guys. <coughs> so can we take these 12 popsicle sticks and like split them up in different ways? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you, um, how about you guys take a minute to figure out different ways to group these popsicle sticks? Good job, guys. Uh, so can we discuss in partners how how each of us grouped them? So I did, <laughs> I did two groups 12 of six. groups of one, yeah. like this, and then yeah. I did two groups of six. Um, I also did I have four groups of one. Four groups I of did three. Three groups and of four. Do. Four groups of three. <coughs> That's how you say it. Mm -hmm. oh. Six groups, groups two. of two. Then I did one no, group of twelve. Two groups of six. Then I did and one group of twelve. And I like the twelve one twelve groups of one. <laughs> so um, one is uh, very like effective. <laughs> Good job, guys. Um, so can we, as a class, discuss the different ways that we grouped these popsicle sticks? Twelve groups of one. 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 Twelve gro
groups of one. I like that one. Twelve groups of one. One times twelve. One group of twelve. One group of twelve. Uh, two groups of six. Two groups of six. Six groups of two. Six groups of two. I see a pattern. Four groups of three. Four groups of three. Three groups of four. <laughs> three groups of four. Good job, guys. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test you guys. It's not graded or anything. It's just to see the see how, you, how well you guys understand um, what we've been learning. Now, uh, so I'm going to erase all this, and I'm going to write a problem on the board, and each of you is going to come up and uh, illustrate that, that problem. Okay? I'm going to write a different problem for each of you guys. Okay. Let's go six times two. Anneli, can you come up to the board and illustrate six times two? Please. Good job. I'll put the circles around them. Oh, it's like a face. There's no net. Good job. Now, let's do 12 times 1 Mario. I chose third grade because then the student won't be taller than me. It looks like you got it. So, um, with a show of hands, how how comfortable are you guys uh, grouping objects? Nice. How about multiplying single-digit numbers? Good. One. No. Oh, five. Five. Okay. Good. Nice job, guys. <laughs> 